Hey, what's up, Run Written Lawn? This is Dying Scene Radio. We have a new record called Acoustic, comes out April 1st. Go get it. Cybertrack Records, one love. Dying Scene Radio! Fuck, this is crazy, man. That's fucking outrageous. Idiot. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. You got this idiot in the, in the shot, huh? Don't get me in the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Bump that All right, that's it. Me. Fuck it. We're going. This is a clusterfuck. How you doing? I'm with Unwritten Law, and this is for uh, Dying Scene Radio. Thanks, thanks, guys. That's... Welcome to Florida Dumb. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. How do you, how you like it uh, touring this state? The state is stupid. <laughs> do you agree or no? Are you gonna, oh, you got you to gotta tote the line and be politically correct or whatever. <laughs> oh, so, the weather is terrible. I, I like definitely some red Actually, necks, I like it, dude. Yeah, I, I love feel Florida. happier, but I am a hillbilly. You are? <laughs> I like the naked dudes out there. <laughs> Look at those Who kids. Doesn't? You guys are all from San Diego, so I mean, uh, that's been, I've heard people say that's like the best city in America. Are there any it's, parallels? It's America's finest city. That's the quote? That's the exact that's a slogan. slogan. Exact that's a quote. slogan? That's our ta- uh, city slogan. Nice. Um, do, are there any parallels between your hometown and your home state, uh, Florida? Would you Be- say? The beach. Yeah, the beach. Other than that? Well, no. Nah. Parallels from Andromeda to here. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yeah. putting that in my mouth. <laughs> On. Uh, um, hey, man, other than less than Jake, though, honestly, have you guys run into any uh, talent down here, or is it, like, really short for the picking? What do you mean by describe talent? Yeah. <laughs> I mean like Florida, Florida grown talent. Like uh, when you guys tour down here. Yeah, the right new, uh, down here. Ian oh, from Newfound Glory's here. Yeah, the Newfound Glory guys are from here. They're down there they're somewhere. From here? Holy bread. Are they from here? Yeah, they're Holy bread. Holy bread. bread. That's right. Those yeah, guys those are, are too. African American uh, punk rock band. Sure. Yeah, I think nice. we're saying black now. And actually, Can we, we hung out so. last night with the who's the guy? Black punk rock band. Bad brains. Bad. <laughs> the bad brains are here. I can't stop biting these things. <laughs> yeah, we yes, all know what the dude last night who was actually designing for NASA the first yeah. car to drive on Mars. Really? And we stayed at his house. And he was born in, oh, he's from Florida. I was going to ask you for like a cool tour story here of mm-hmm. Florida, but that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah, he built the Batmobile and, and all the, the Tron bikes. Optimus Prime. Really? Optimus Prime, yeah. he like builds Where'd you, you met him at the Where's show? Like, yeah, last where'd night. You yeah. Play, where'd you play last Cape night? Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, show you, we'll show you pictures. Man, that's badass. He sat on the Tron bike. He built all that shit for the movies. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Dude, that's cool, man. So I guess you meet cool people <laughs> everywhere you go. Dude, yeah, yeah. It's obviously the best <laughs> in the world. Hey, I, uh, what, what happened in Arizona, man? Something happened in Arizona two weeks ago. Somebody went to the hospital or some I shit. I did. I, I dislocated my shoulder two songs into our set. And our, uh, our guitar tech is from uh, Australia. He knows all every unwritten law song, so he finished the set for me while I was in the ER. That's there good. He is that's right nice. there. There he is. And he's yeah. a Jedi catching beer bottles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys, let me ask you guys a serious question. Um, do you think Axl Rose is going to join uh, ACDC? Fuck no. I hope not. That, Hopefully that cannot not. happen. If a purple Twinkie flies out my <laughs> fucking ass. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, actually, Brian Johnson, he's a, he's a resident of Florida. He's from Sarasota. I think he lives in Sarasota. Uh, well, he lives here. Does he really? I yeah. didn't know that. Brian Johnson, he lives in Sarasota. Um, Bond Scotland's in Australia. <laughs> he resides there. He, yeah, he used to. He used to, yeah. Anyway, talk to me a little bit about stupid internet rumors. Like, I was just talking about that Axl Rose thing. Have you guys been privy to that at all? Uh, you know, Facebook sharing? Like, people people do it a little uh, too soon and it's all bullshit? I'm bad at it. I'm guilty at it. But <laughs> that's, that's a Scott question. Really. He's better at answering these questions. All, all the rumors are pretty true. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, like one of the, um, like some some positives of uh, social media and stuff like that. What are some of the bennies and the disadvantages, would you say? You guys have been around a long time. Social media is a disease. Yeah? That needs to be taken care of. (laughs) There's going to be, there's going to be like alcohol. Yeah, there's going to be a backlash from it, dude. And where's the internet at? I I don't, I have to do it. We have to do it because it's part of our job, but to me it's it's disgusting. Yeah, it hurts my heart a lot yeah. to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to see him bite it. Let me ask you some current events things really quick. We're you know, dyingscene.com or whatever, punk, punk news, music news, whatever. There's a video circulating on our website showing uh, riverboat gamblers, uh, the, the 
the front man for that band doing a trust fall. Nobody catches him. He punctured his lungs and broke his ribs. Holy shit. Scott, have you ever done uh, some stupid shit like that on stage? Yeah, of course. I've done a lot <laughs> of What's stupid shit on stage. What's the stupidest thing you've ever done on stage? I mean, you know, we came from a punk rock background, so I'd stage dive every show. And we were on tour once uh, with No Doubt in Europe, and I jumped off the stage and I landed on some little girl's head and like put like and almost broke her neck and she was on a stretcher and from that day on I never stage dive again. It was wow. like my heart was broken. That's some and real shit, huh? Yeah, well, so you, you never want to hurt fans. He loves yeah. fans more than anything in the whole world. Yeah, that's a so devastating thing. That so. sucks. <laughs> I mean other stupid shit, we beat each other up on stage all the time. It's pretty funny. Alright, so somebody, uh, Watson sat. Yeah. Somebody else is involved, that's it <laughs> breaks our hearts. Yeah. Please stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Punk Rock Bowling announced uh, their 2016 Las Vegas uh, lineup, plus the Jake, Teach Ball Rock, and Real Big Fish, and more playing Warp Tour, Lag Wagon, No Effects, Strung Out, uh, are playing Amnesia Rock Fest. What about Fest for you guys? We played Amnesia summer? last year. What are you playing? This, this uh, come on. They don't let you play two years in a row. You have to do it every other year for Amnesia. What about any other fests that are going on? Warp Tour. We just uh, did that. Uh, Bowl, South by So What? We what about so the new punk rock bowling up in Jersey or I, Denver? I haven't, I haven't heard about it. I haven't uh, heard about that. You, you, about you haven't Riot heard Fest? about those? No, there's, uh, they expanded Punk Rock Bowling, oh, I didn't Bowling know. I to two about it. other cities. I didn't Denver know and uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey. Huh, Trevor. I'll tell you where I won't be. Well, you guys got to look into it. <laughs> 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 what about uh, Record Store Day, guys? Uh, I know you guys have a new record coming out April 1st. Yes. What about April 16th? You got any, anything coming out for Record Store Day? Uh, April 16th? Oh, is that something, National something Record Store Day? Yeah, I can't yeah, remember yeah. what okay. it is. <laughs> no, no. a record, our vinyl, that comes out. First 500 copies come with sea fucking monkeys. They come with sea monkeys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. first 500 copies get sea monkeys. Nice. That's right. This record right here. That's for marketing. Look at yeah. that. Right there. See that? Comes with sea monkeys, man. <laughs> uh, and if you don't like sea monkeys, fuck you. You're going to love the space monkeys. If you don't like sea monkeys, you're probably asses. All right, anyway, you have, a, you have a new record called Acoustics coming out April 1st, like I was saying. Uh, Cybertracks, El Jefe's uh, record label. Yes, absolutely. Um, Cybertracks is predominantly a punk label. Why are you guys releasing an acoustic record on uh, Cybertracks? Because it does, that's punk rock. <laughs> and acoustic doesn't mean it's an acoustic record. It's called acoustic. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. In all, in all honesty, I, I know you guys transcend genre. You don't want to be pigeonholed into one particular. I know, hey, Frank Turner, he does his, uh, you know, he's a little more folky, but everybody's doing the acoustic thing now, so. This, but, isn't, this isn't like any acoustic record that you've heard. Tell me. Uh, just a, it's just started out with just me and a guitar, and me and my friend just produced produced it with midis and crazy sounds, and he threw in crazy. It's just it's, it's mental. It's not like it's not like music in high places. It's not a rock band doing and their songs acoustic. It's not like that. It's produced and there's beats and there's, it's crazy. How'd you guys get involved with Cyber Tracks in the first place? You know, we fired uh, Suburban Noise, and um, we had finished the record and we were shopping it, and Hefe had all the right things to say to us. He knew the record inside. Like, we gave it to him, he came when he sat us down, like he believed in it, the way we believe in it. And so, that was the home we decided to go to. Um, what was the last thing? Dude, is there a Rocky here? You guys travel with a dude named Rocky? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my best friend. All right, tell, my tell him Elena Venetia says hi. Oh yeah, that's my homegirl. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah she does the she does the podcast too. She co-hosts also. Okay, cool. Yeah, so she's my homie from back in. His Rally uncle is Randy Johnson. Yeah, Rocky. Yeah, Rocky big is. is. Randy, yeah, Randy Johnson, a pitcher. Yeah, that's yeah. Rocky. Colorado. Rocky's, Rocky's, Rocky's uncle. uncle. Get out of here, really. No. And yesterday it's appropriate was the, that his name is Rocky. Yesterday was the 10 year re reunion or 20 year. <laughs> so reunion? 15 year, I think. 15 year reunion of the bird. Of the bird, the bird, the bird, the bird blowing up. Like two days ago or something. <laughs> he yeah. flipped the bird. And oh, he missed his dad was also a district attorney and worked on the OJ case. Oh, so like, really? He's retired now. He's Interesting like, family. He's, no. he's like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> African American, please. Uh, anyway, uh, his dad's responsible for bringing Dina A into the courtroom, basically. Last stupid question for the end, man. Um, Wade Scott, how you guys doing these days? You guys getting along or whatever? <laughs> yeah, totally. as far as yeah. Well, we're here. Is, no, does it mean the lineup change uh, soon or anything? Not anytime soon. Sorry. This right. is it. We, 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 we peaked. This is the first time in 26 years that every member's wanted to be on stage with each other. Like, I can honestly say that. Like, it's some, it, it's some incarnation. No one, someone didn't want to be on the stage, and now everyone wants to be out here. So, well, it took us 26 years, but here we are. Nice. Hey man, thank you so much for uh, having me out here. This is this is rad, man. That's Italy. so cool. How beautiful. Right on the water, uh, Fort Pierce. 
This is a cool venue. It's a dope venue. I love it.